let's denote the given function by y therefore y is equal to x minus a times x minus b divided by x minus c cross multiplying we get x minus a times x minus b is equal to y times x minus c which is equal to xy minus cy this implies that x square minus a plus b times x plus a b minus xy plus cy is equal to 0. This can be rearranged as x square minus in brackets a plus b plus y times x plus a b plus cy is equal to 0. Now x is a real number therefore the discriminant of this quadratic equation must be greater than or equal to 0 which implies that a plus b plus y whole square minus 4 times in brackets a b plus c y is greater than or equal to 0 opening up the left hand side we get a plus b whole square plus 2y times a plus b plus y square minus 4ab minus 4cy is greater than or equal to 0. This can be written as y square plus 2 times in brackets a plus b minus 2c times y plus a plus b whole square minus 4ab is greater than or equal to 0. Now the last two terms on the left hand side add up to a square plus 2ab plus b square minus 4ab which is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square which is equal to a minus b whole square. Therefore this inequality can be written as y square plus 2 times a plus b minus 2c times y plus a minus b whole square is greater than or equal to 0. Now recall that in a quadratic expression a t square plus b t plus c if a is greater than 0 then the expression a t square plus b t plus c is greater than or equal to 0 for all values of t if the discriminant b square minus 4ac is strictly less than 0. Therefore the above inequality is true if the discriminant is less than 0. The discriminant is equal to 4 times a plus b minus 2c square minus 4 times a minus b whole square and this must be less than 0. 4 cancels and opening up the left hand side we get a plus b whole square plus 4c square minus 4c times a plus b minus a minus b whole square is less than 0. This can be written as 4c square minus 4c times a plus b plus a plus b whole square minus a minus b whole square is less than 0. Now on the left hand side a plus b whole square minus a minus b whole square is equal to 4ab and therefore this inequality becomes c square minus a plus b times c plus a b is less than 0 which implies that c minus a times c minus b is less than 0. In other words c lies between a and b. So when a is less than b this implies that c is greater than a and less than b and when b is less than a 
This implies that C is greater than B and less than A. And this is the required answer.